A team of researchers from the University of Saskatchewan takes to the skies over Banff National Park, high above remote mountaintops and pristine lakes, to glaciers and ice fields, and one that's disappearing faster than even they expected. Well, dramatic change since last year, uh, which itself had been dramatic change from the year before. This is the final end of our ice age. It's happening right now in our lifetimes. For decades, Pato Glacier has been a global reference point for scientists who measure the ice's thickness and its retreat. They say this year is on track to be one of the worst they've seen, adding to an already historic melt-off in 2021. Normally the glacier would retreat 20 to 30 metres per year. It retreated uh, almost 300 metres in one year after that. It's very challenging to see it uh, disappear like this. And then add 360 millimetres. There's now a snowball effect of factors that could see this glacier and others disappear in our lifetimes. Pato Glacier would usually have fresh snow on it at this time of year, but it's already melted. And without that fresh snow, it can't make the ice it needs to survive. It gets into this uh, death spiral of uh, uh, when we have this kind of heat, the heat itself melting things, uh, and then the uh, soot from the fire uh, darkening the glacier, causing it to melt faster. Other scientists who also study the glacier say that means it's getting much harder to monitor as it melts and collapses. It's getting more and more difficult to access the, uh, the glacier to do our field work. We're also seeing new crevasses open up in new places, as well as holes and uh, parts of the glacier actually falling apart. Eventually, scientists will move on from Pato to study glaciers that aren't melting as quickly, leaving this landscape to change forever. Dan McGarvey, CBC News, Banff, Alberta.